so whatever you do in life there are challenges and poultry farming is not an exception so i got about nine bags of broiler feed yesterday and unfortunately the rain wanted to spoil everything okay i was supposed to return with the guy who was bringing the feed to the house but then i had to pick somebody at the park so i told him oh go to the house and knock my wife would open just drop the feed and once i get home i would get them into the store but guess what he came dropped the feed as i instructed but after leaving the rain started to fall and i was also held in the traffic so it was a very very bad experience my wife couldn't move the bags they were heavy and you know she tried covering it she tried to use some things to cover it but the rain and the breeze everything was just so messy so some of the feed got wet and this morning i had to start you know i had to open a bag the most important thing in this video is the solution the solution so what was the solution you know many people would have just continued with the feed you know you just keep the feed and you start serving it to the bed but it is dangerous because it's going to have fungi very soon where you have moisture lots of moisture content in the feed it gives rise to fungi in your feed and fungi will give rise to diseases like aspergillosis and all that in your chicken so you don't want that to happen so i had to bring out the feed open all the bags ensure that i remove the um the clustered feed and i also dried it under the sun just a little before i rebagged everything you know it was a tough one the feeds cost 70 something thousand naira that's about 150 dollars and you know that's a lot of money for just this small size of uh, flock and it was about to go down the drain but thank god i was able to rescue the feed and uh, we are putting them to use now it may not be 100 percent quality again i mean a quality as it was when they produced it may not be 100 percent again but then i was able to solve the problem of fungi growing after a couple of days or the entire feed being wasted so it's a lesson for you guys it's a lesson ensure that you store your feed where there's no rain where there's no water so that it doesn't get caked up so it doesn't grow fungi and so that your chickens will not die and so that you don't have to throw it away you no know, throwing 70 something thousand naira away it's, it's a lot of money and it's going to be a lot of wasted energy too so that's it guys once again i'm diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so if you're here to subscribe to this channel this uh is the vlog that i'm using to train poultry farmers how to brood chicks from day old to maturity and you also should enjoy this you should learn from it i have a playlist where i've been putting videos about these chicks so you can go there and check the broiler brooding management series so thank you very much subscribe to the channel click the thumbs up button if you like the content and also hit the notification bell so you get notified when i post new videos thank you very much and see you in the next